Thank you so much for watching this video. Today's topic is on Jane Marsha's identity statuses. Remember that the best way to study is to take practice tests. If you don't have good practice tests, then create your own using the Learn My Test study tool and learn while you do it. Or you can check our growing list of test banks for one in your field of study. Sign up for free at www.learnmytest.com. James Marsha looked to extend the work of Eric Erickson by developing four statuses that can describe an individual's process in making it through a stage in Erickson's theory. If you haven't watched our video on Eric Erickson, I strongly recommend that you do that before you watch this video. So some terms to know. First is identity. Um, and identity is just who you identify as. So an individual can identify as a homosexual. They can identify as a plumber, which is an occupation. They can identify as a college student. They can identify as a relation, a relationship like a mother or a son. Um, exploration is how much thought have you put into a certain identity. So if, you're, if your political identity is Democrat, how much thought have you put, put in? Did you think about other political views and all the different political views before you decided to be a Democrat? And how strong is your commitment to one particular identity? So if you do identify as a Democrat, um, have you committed to that or are you still kind of exploring with other, um, other identities? The first identity status is identity diffusion. And it's when an individual has made a low commitment and low exploration. They haven't really started um, exploring the possibilities of their identity yet and they haven't really made any commitments. Identity foreclosure is low exploration and, and high commitment. So you already know what identity you want without little exploration or exploring the possibilities. So for example, if your parents are Democrats and you just decide because your parents are Democrats, you're gonna be Democrat without exploring other possibilities that are different from your parents, that would be an example of identity foreclosure. Identity moratorium is when you have high exploration and low commitment. So you've really explored a lot of the possibilities and you're still just not sure which identity fits you, even though you've kind of looked at a lot of the options. The fourth status is identity achievement and it's high exploration and high commitment. So it means that you've explored all the possibilities and you pretty much know after doing that which identity best fits you. To help explain these, let's take Tim, who is an 18-year-old college student. He is in the identity versus role confusion stage of Erickson's theory. One of the big commitments or identity changes made during this stage is finding a career or occupation. So we will use Tim's search for a career or occupation as an example. If Tim hasn't really thought about a career, hasn't made any commitments toward a career, and is just really kind of putting it off, uh, that would be an example of identity diffusion. Let's say Tim's parents tell him that he's going to work in the factory when he gets out of school. And so Tim basically decides without really exploring any other career options that he's going to work in the factory when he gets out of school. That would be an example of identity foreclosure. You pick an identity without exploring the possibilities. Let's say Tim has thought about a lot of occupations, such as being a doctor, a repairman, a farmer, a chef, and still isn't able to really commit to one of them or doesn't really know which one is the best fit for him. Identity moratorium is when you have high exploration and low commitment. So you've really tried a lot of different identities, but you're not sure which one best fits you. Let's say Tim finally has explored all the possibilities and has eventually made a commitment and believes that being a chef would be the best fit for him, the best identity for him. This would be an example of identity achievement. It's when you've explored, you have high exploration, you've explored all the possibilities, 
and your commitment is high, you know that this is the right fit for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button or subscribe to stay up to date on our psychology videos as we post them. Remember that the best way to study is to take practice tests, and if you can't find good practice tests, make your own using the Learn My Test study tool. You can also look for ready-made test banks in psychology or other subjects. Sign up for free at learnmytest.com.